Okay, so this is going to be round two. I have adjusted the idle for the throttle because uh, the throttle on this re is about 14 TPS. So it's about 15% open uh, just at idle, just to keep it where it needs to be. Um, these are huge throttle bodies, so pretty normal. Uh, we're going to see if it actually starts up where it needs to be right off the bat. So let's see if it idles. It should idle pretty close to eh, 850, 900. It's a little low. Oh, hey now, come on. There we go. All right, so that's still a little bit low. Um, let's try adjusting the fuel map, see if that helps. Right now, we're a little bit rich and it shouldn't be that rich. Let's go into tuning, the E table. All right, so we're pushing about uh, 60 kPa. That's not bad, that's about where it should be. Um, so 60, eh. That actually seems about okay. I'm gonna try and raise the TPS up just a little bit. All right, everybody, we're going to do one more startup before the night is over and uh, kind of see where stuff's at. Um, squeaking sound you heard earlier was a issue with a pulley that was seizing because it was hanging up on a bolt. Fix that. Um, reset my timing since it was chewing up the timing belt, which was awesome. Anyway, we're going to see where everything's at. I'm going to go back to the diagnostics or we can just kind of watch everything. Let's see if she starts up. Alright, why are we being stubborn here? Staying pretty close to 950. It's kind of where I want it. I'm gonna hop out real quick, take a look at the throttle bodies, and show you around a little bit. Still squeaking a little. I'm not really sure why. We can cool it anymore. All right. It's very possible that the squeaking noise that you're hearing is uh, more than likely the alternator, which I need to resolve. Anyway, let's take the throttle bodies a little bit here.
Well, I think that's probably pretty good for now, anyway. 